hello 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 my beautiful youtube family welcome back to beautifully beyond me tv welcome or welcome back um if this is your first time thank you so much for clicking on my channel if this is not your first time thank you so much for returning to watch my videos happy new year to everyone um, I have to start using my community page more because I could have posted some uh, Happy New Year stuff on there. Um, yeah, I'm looking a little bit shysty this morning. Uh, reason being is because I'm getting ready to go get my hair done. It's not even the morning. What am I talking about? It's 1.53. My hair appointment is at 2 o'clock. So I'm getting ready to go there now. Um, yeah, so... That's what I'll be getting ready to do. Um, I might vlog a little bit there while I'm getting my hair done. But um, otherwise, you guys will see the end result. Um, I wanted to share something with you guys. Some changes that I might be making um, in the new year. Um, I'm contemplating whether or not I'm going to make these changes or not. And I think I want to share it on my platform because um, I think I'm, it might be interesting to somebody somewhere. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I got some decisions to make. And so, um, yeah, but I'll be bringing you guys along with me. No eyelashes, so I look kind of sick, but I'm not. I'm well, and I'm well rested, and I'm ready to go get my hair done. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Check it. Check it. Check it out. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it out. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it out. Check it. Check it out. It's that song that go. There you go. Baby, it's just not on that part right now, but I'm gonna put in a uh, clip of my uh, daughter and my granddaughter doing this song. <laughs> Let me turn the radio down. I just got some french braids to the back. Um, yeah. Just got a real simple style because last time getting those braids down and even afterwards once they were down and I washed my hair and everything, it still was just like not damaged to my hair, but it was it was rough trying to get it back right so even today like when I got it done it had to be completely combed out and that stuff hurts when your hair has been in braids and then when you get it washed but it's not completely detangled that stuff hurt I was fighting back tears I was just biting my lip and curling my toes because I was like oh my god this hurts so bad and then as y'all know well some of you <clears throat> know I have really bad dandruff and so I'm hoping that that's not a problem let me turn this light I'm hoping that that's not a problem with this hairstyle um yeah she just kind of made something up and just did it. I wanted the ends curly. This is, I guess it's curly, but yeah, so I'm going to go home, throw me on some lashes, but I got to stop at the store first, pick up my prescription and something for us to eat tonight. I think I might just do a meatloaf because I got some ground beef down, but 
I will talk to you guys a little later. I'm about to call my oldest son. I need to talk to him about something. The something that I was going to talk to you guys about. Um, but I haven't spoke to him yet. And so I'm going to call him and talk to him about it and see his input and everything before I even bring it to you guys. So I will talk to you guys later. See you in the next clip. Bye. Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, so I'm here at work now. Uh, it's about 15 minutes, 16 minutes until it's time for me to go inside. So I'm out here chilling. Um, yeah, I'm out here chilling. Uh, we are still at, well, I didn't even tell y'all, we had, um, cause we got two locations. It's so gloomy and just like, I don't know, like blurry looking. I don't know if that helps at all, but, um, so we have two locations that I work out of one of them there was some type of a water i don't know if it was a pipe or what happened but there was some type of a water um issue so we all had to come over to the second location thankfully i have an office at both locations so that's really good for me um my battery is at 15 percent and I start working 15 minutes. I'm trying to think if I want to charge my battery out of here at the car or if I want to just charge it inside. I think I'll just charge it inside. But anywho, um, yeah, she didn't really leave none of my edges out. Look at this. I like for my edges to be down because I'm not, you know, trying for them to fall out or anything like that but I think this year cause like I don't have on any makeup right now I just have on lip gloss and um I think this year I'm gonna start doing a lot more of that just being natural this year I think I'm gonna wear a lot of braided hairstyles not necessarily French braided hairstyles but I think I'm gonna wear a lot of braided hairstyles and um, in between there, probably get my, like, wraps, whatever, or wear my hair down. But my question to you all, for you all to put in the comments section, would you, like, uproot your life in a sense to be a help to somebody else because it will further help you in the future. Because I'm just thinking to myself, like, you know, I could say no, and I could just continue to work my nine to five. I could continue to be paycheck to paycheck like I've been, or I can change things and it might be a little bit uncomfortable or not so much uncomfortable, but it, it, it'll just be a change, you know, for me. But I know that financially it will be better for me and my children, my granddaughter. And that's what I want for in the future for me to be so financially stable that um, for me to be so financially stable that. I don't have to worry about anything. That's how I want to be in the future. But it's almost time for me to go inside. So, yeah, what would y'all do uh, as far as making a choice or making a decision? I hope I'm explaining it well enough. A doctor that I work with would like for me to come and live with him and his wife to care for his wife so that she no longer has to live in a nursing home. Now, he's willing to pay all expenses pay me the salary that I'm making now, if not more. And um, he's even offering for my daughter to come and live with. But then I also have my 18 year old. I think I might just keep my place and just let them live there 
or definitely my 18 year old my daughter can go back and forth but um yeah it's just a lot of stuff to weigh in a lot of stuff because my daughter starts high school uh next school year she's getting ready to graduate from eighth grade and so it's just it's a lot to weigh in but it's also an opportunity to better myself financially and so I don't want to let that opportunity pass me by but at the same time I don't want to make things too difficult for me and my family while I'm trying to help somebody else and their family you know what I'm saying so but I'll talk to you guys later and um yeah I'm getting ready to go on the job so I'll talk to y'all later Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just coming on to talk to you guys for a brief moment. Um, I am headed to drop the young lady off at work. I mean, at school. <laughs> and then I'm headed to work. Um, I'm at the gas station. I just noticed the gas station has some good lighting. Because I don't have, like, good lighting on my camera. Because my camera is my phone. And, um, yeah. But just wanted to say good morning to you guys. Um, oh, something had popped up on my phone, but yeah, nothing really going on. We have three patients on the schedule today, y'all. Three. One at 10 o'clock, but get this. One at 3 and one at 3.30. And you know what that means. That means I have to stay there all damn day. It would have been different if it was like yesterday. Yesterday, we only had patients in the morning. So, yeah, I only had patients. I was trying to see what was going on in the gas station. But, yeah, um... I only had patients in the morning, so the afternoon, I just did, like, paperwork and authorizations, checked on prior authorizations and prescription refills and stuff like that. So, it looks like that's what I'll be doing today, unless I'm able to leave early. Uh, but I doubt it with the last patient being at 3.30. I'm like, really? What a schedule. I mean, it's nice to see three patients on the schedule, but not when they're that space, that far spaced apart. So, anywho, I'll talk to y'all in a bit. I'm going to figure out what's taking so long in this gas station. Hey, y'all. So, it's actually the next day. Um, yesterday was a long day at work, and I didn't come back on after work. But, um, yeah, it's about... 10 minutes or so give or take until I have to go inside to the job so I wanted to come on and tell you guys about the phone call that I received so I received a phone call um this had to be day before yesterday now I think it was sun wait what's today Friday this is like Wednesday or something like that but um I received a phone call I might have the date wrong, but it don't matter. Um, and the phone call was actually from, get this, Frank Gadsden Jr. For those of you who don't know who Frank Gadsden Jr. is, you must either be out of the country or um, living under a rock somewhere because Frank Gadsden is very, very, very well known. He is black excellence at his finest um he is a renowned well-known um choreographer intergenerational choreographer i think international choreographer um and he has worked with people like michael jackson uh beyonce brandy of course um in vogue He's choreographed a lot of projects and been, like, creative director on a lot of different projects for a lot of different celebrities. And he is 
he is good at what he does and he is still a well-rounded individual because he took the time out to call me and to say that he apologized that my ticket was not at will call after I won that ticket on the radio station. And it wasn't even his fault, but he apologized that I did not um, receive my ticket at will call. And he also apologized that Brandy wasn't there. He did say that she was sick. Um, and that once she gets well, would it be okay if she reaches out to my daughter? Because my daughter was my date. And so she was also in attendance at the um, gala and um, award ceremony. And she was ready to see Brandy. But, um, yeah, so I'm like, reach out to my daughter. Like, are you serious? And he was dead serious. And so he has my number and everything. And when that day ever comes, um, when and if that day ever comes, because, you know, it's one thing to have something planned, but it's a whole nother thing when you're speaking about another individual doing something so like he's telling me that she'll do it but you know we'll see hopefully she does and um yeah i will keep you guys posted and i will of course record it and um but yeah so that's all i wanted to come on and tell you guys i'm gonna sit here and chill for a little bit until it's time for me to go inside and I will talk to you guys later. See you in the next clip. <laughs> You're so pretty. Say hi, Millie. Oh! <laughs> you bad. I'm at my son's house. And um, we just got up not too long ago. It is nine something right now. But we just got up. Around, I think she woke up around like 8 30. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think she woke up around like 8 30. Uh, she went to bed at a decent time last night around like what nine. We probably went to sleep and then she woke up about 8 30. Yeah, Maybe. what is that? What is that? Hmm? Can't even see. I can't even see nothing. Girl, eat that cookie. <laughs> Whoa! She tried to get y'all. Let's see. But yeah, <laughs> Lena and Apple are in there sleeping. So we just out here watching trolls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Millie, stop! We out here watching trolls. My no. eyelashes. Trolls, yeah. My eyelashes gotta come off because I'm going to get them done. And so, yes, girl. I'm going to get my eyelashes done. Say yes, girl. Yes. yes. You don't fall. But yeah, as you can see, I'm still under blanket. You want some? Okay. So I'll talk to you guys in a second. See you in the next clip. Mommy. Yeah. That's Elsa. Hey, Mama. Mommy and Daddy not here. So yeah, I'm over here. We over here babysitting. What? We over here babysitting this weekend because my son. And his yeah. girlfriends are in Houston, I want to say. Yeah, I think they're in Houston. They're in Houston. And so, <laughs> Lena is in there sleeping. You ain't taking my phone. Running with it. So, okay, I just wanted to come and tell you guys that. I'm just still chilling under the cover. Got a baby down now. Um. But yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Probably when I get ready to make some breakfast. Bye. What you got? 
Millie, you was like, that dog ain't getting in here with me. <laughs> I love this little girl. We found a dog, and she's afraid of it, but Lena and Apple love it. I love it, too. But Millie, like, I ain't messing with it. I know, Lena. Lena and that dog. Yeah. Yeah. Lena got it. We'll show you guys the dog in just a second. Here's the dog. He is so adorable. He's shaking. He's cold. You want to go in the house? Yeah. We found a dog, as I said. Now Millie liked the dog. At first she didn't. We got Lena, Millie, and Apple. I'm trying to see if you can see the dog. There you go. Millie all in the way, because now she liked the dog. I think she being a veterinarian and using my stethoscope on him. <laughs> I know what I eat. Yeah. We need some dog food, probably. So we're just at the gym now. My son's place has a built-in gym. And that's where we are. Millie took the ball and put it over there. But there's weight balls. Um, I don't know how you call them if you say weight balls or not. Those yoga-like balls, um, mats, uh, treadmill. Well, I'm sitting on this. We got our coats on it, but it's like a weight lift thing. Let me see. See, it's a weight lift thing, and they go all the weights. And we got Lena and Apple, and they're dancing. And Miss Millie. Say hi, Miss Millie. She said hi, Millie. <laughs> so yeah, but we ain't doing nothing. Just chilling out at the gym. It's approximately four something. I don't think it's quite 4.30 yet. But um, yeah, so we just chilling out. Um, just finding something to do. So, talk to y'all in a bit. See y'all in the next clip. But we found the owners of the dog. They live down the way from my son. I called my son and asked if he knew who the owner was, and he did. So we took the dog back home because he was shaking and shimmering. Huh? I mean, shaking and shivering. But, all righty, look at her. <laughs> so I see y'all in a bit. You're so strong, mama. Do it again. Let me see you do it. All right. Go, girl. Now you can put them down now, Millie. Help her put them down, my lady. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Marlena, get her off of that one. Okay. Oh. Don't fall, girl. Look, she ought to get her spot in the middle. I thought she was going to dance. <laughs> Do that TikTok, Melly. Yeah. Hey, y'all. So, I am all done watching my granddaughter for the weekend. We had a blast watching her. Um, she's two years old turned two in august august 24th 
and um, she's talking, but not like talking, talking, because she's only two. But it's just so funny to see like her try to get you to understand what she's saying on the parts that she can't verbalize because she can speak. You know, she can say, give me that phone. She she can say, mama, daddy. She can say, Lena. She can say um, a couple more different phrases and stuff. But for the most part, like if she's trying to tell you where something is and she wants something, she'll point. And it just be so cute, like how she be uh, trying to get out what she's trying to say. And, and then I feel so bad when I don't know what she's saying and because then she gets frustrated. But, um, yeah, I love that little girl so much. So, I got to sleep with my grandbaby for the last two nights, and it was so much fun. Last night, we decided to watch a movie, honey. I forgot how it is watching a movie with a two-year-old, unless you're watching, like, a children's movie. Because we were watching End of the Road with Queen Latifah and Ludacris, and, oh, my God. That girl. But um she uh she did good. Well actually I'll just show y'all the footage. Where you get that from? Arguing. Yeah. She keep coming back. Let's go night night. No, I go with you. Yeah. No. Give Lena kisses. All right. This is sweet baby. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Yeah. So she didn't exactly do good, but after a while she got sleepy and she went ahead on and went to sleep and we got to finish watching the movie. But yeah, uh, cause other than that, the TV stayed on either Trolls, which she loves to watch Trolls, or we was like listening to music on YouTube or whatever, and the girls were dancing and doing TikToks, and it's so funny to watch her get up there and do TikToks. If if they have any TikToks that the the three of them made together, I'll put them in. Also, somebody sleeping in my bed. Sorry, for some reason this uh, TikTok doesn't have any sound to it when I um, put it into my um, video. And so, but it's just fun to <laughs> watch Millie think she's doing the, the same thing that they're doing. Look at her. <laughs> But yeah, um, now we are getting ready to go to what's called Black Cat Alley here in uh, Wisconsin, here in Milwaukee. Um, it's just uh, an alleyway, 
and it has like graffiti on the walls and a lot of people go and they take pictures there. And so Lena just got her hair done and she wants to um, put on a jogging suit that I got for her for Christmas and she wants to take some pictures. So that's what we about to do before we get in the house for the night. It is 348 and once we get back, honey, I am getting in my pajamas. So, um, yeah, it's been a long weekend. I'll sleep good tonight because for the last two nights, you know, when you're sleeping with a baby, it's like you got your ear out in case they wake up or, you know, just constantly every time you wake up, you're checking on them and you know how it is. But I will sleep peacefully tonight because I got to go to work in the morning. And, um, yeah, so, but other than that, this will conclude the end of my vlog. I want to thank you guys for watching as usual. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, please like this video. If you haven't already, just give it a thumbs up. It's, it, it's just a little click, just a little click. So give it a thumbs up and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. See y'all next time. Bye.